Good morning, uh, Phil Rigdon, pastor here at St. John with you again for uh, one of our weekly devotions. And it is Holy Week, of course, today is Monday, Thursday. And uh, so as we go through Holy Week, we'll take another look here at an important passage uh, from the Passion of Christ. And let's begin with a favorite uh, Lenten hymn, and we'll sing one verse of that. Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred hand for such a worm as I? All right. Uh, one of the passages that we're going to look at, well, really the only passage we're going to look at today uh, here is from Matthew 27, and I'm going to put that up here right now. All right, and let's open that up so we can see it as clearly as possible. Okay, uh, I'm going to move myself out of here, get myself down there. So this is Matthew 27. Uh, it says, so when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much because of him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? They all said, let him be crucified. And he said, why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, let him be crucified. All right, I'm gonna, take this back here and uh, make a few remarks. So uh, we're familiar with this part of the account of Christ's crucifixion. And just to a cup, add a couple of points to help flesh things out and make it a little uh, more interesting. Remember that Rome is in charge now here in Palestine, all right, that they are running the show. Uh, the, what Rome usually did is that they tried to be as hands off as they could. In other words, let's not grip uh, the Jews too tightly in the hope that maybe they'll just, you know, get along and everything will be fine. So they tried not to push too hard, but they were still in charge. And so uh, Pilate had this, this practice that he did that he would release uh, a prisoner to them, kind of like a, hey, we're not so bad. Um, you know what? We'll free a prisoner for you here once a year. And so they, they bring up Barabbas. Now, why is Barabbas so important? Um, why do we look at him? Barabbas was a criminal as far as the Romans were concerned. Um, he was likely part of a group called the Zealots. Now remember, whenever you're clamping down on a group of people, uh, there's going to be some resistance. People don't like being controlled. And so there was a group among the Jews that were trying to push the Romans out by violence. And Barabbas was one of those. Uh, so he was uh, a murderer, he was a criminal, and uh, he was there in prison um, as far as the Romans um, were concerned as a criminal there. So think about that. So here come uh, the Jews, um, the leaders in the Jewish community there, and also some of the people. And what they're saying is, we would rather have Jesus Christ, we would rather have Jesus Christ who is innocent, who is our savior, who is our leader. We'd rather have him put to death. And we want this guy who is a murderer, who is a criminal, uh, and we want him to be freed. But instead, we'd rather have uh, Jesus put to death. Now, we all know that that's part of what God uh, had planned in terms of using the violence and the sin of the people there to bring about our salvation in Christ. But there's a, a deeper, I think, an often um, uh, mistaken or missed point here to get. When you look at this image, and I'll put that here up again for a minute. Uh, let me share that because uh, I think that's worth seeing. All right. When you take a look at that image there, um, you know, the actors, you see Jesus on uh, your right and then the man with the headdress on the left uh, being Barabbas. 
Of course, we see that's Jesus Christ, right? On the left, um, for a minute, put yourself there. Put yourself uh, in Barabbas' position. Now, I don't mean imagine yourself as a criminal who is on trial and so forth, um, but put yourself there in terms of recognizing that there was an exchange, right? That as a sinner, uh, I am uh, condemned uh, to death on earth and everlasting hell. I deserve punishment. I deserve death. But what does God do? God says, I love you. And so I'm going to take you who are a sinner, who deserve to be put to death and deserve to be a criminal. I'm going to release you. And instead, what am I going to do? I'm going to take my innocent son and put him to death. And so we look at Pilate and Pilate says, okay, I'm going to release this criminal to you and I'm going to take an innocent man and put him to death. And that's what happens for us. God says, I'm going to take you, a sinner that is deserving of punishment, and you're, I'm going to set you free. And instead, I'm going to put my son Jesus to death. And that, of course, is, uh, is the wonderful beauty of this message. Um, the portion in here about Barabbas is an expression of freedom to us. Uh, it's, it's a way of understanding the exchange that we get. I get forgiveness. I get everlasting life. No expense to me. And instead, Jesus, the innocent lamb, is taken and put to death. Uh, this is the joy of Easter and the resurrection, uh, and part of why uh, we are so peaceful um, as we reflect on the death and the resurrection of Jesus. I pray that this Holy Week continues to be a blessing to you and that this devotion um, has enhanced your faith walk. God's peace to you. Uh, and again, uh, just a last note that we will have a recorded service Monday, Thursday uh, this evening, 7 p.m., Monday, Thursday, uh, and also uh, Good Friday tomorrow, 7 p.m., and then we'll have our Easter services here at St. John recorded uh, on Facebook, YouTube, and the website, 7.30 uh, and, then, and then 10.30. So uh, please join us for those events. Everything will be on the website uh, and YouTube and Facebook. God's peace to you. Take care.